I was just doing a little bit of yard work, um, tidying up, and uh, I happened to step on what I thought was a stick. And then uh, I felt a little uh, a tap on the side of my leg, and then out of my peripheral vision, I happened to see what looked to be a small juvenile brown snake uh, taking off into the bush. I was on my own, so I ran into the house. Um, I, you know, obviously, a uh, logical thought went out the window and I just thought I need to get some help quickly. I knew the uh, the council guys were out the front, so I made my way to the uh, front of the property uh, and became uh, very ill before um, we were out there to see them. Uh, I remember one of them asking me if I was okay. I think I remember saying the word snake bite and then uh, I collapsed after that. I... I don't remember collapsing so much. Um, I, I was told that I was quite ill, um, um, vomiting and so forth. Mm. Um, and then I pretty much blacked out after that. Gosh. Uh, I had a few I had a few memories of the guys telling me to uh, hang on, uh, the ambulance is on its way. I don't remember the ambulance actually arriving. Um, but uh, yeah, I was I, I was actually told later on that I'd actually stopped breathing. Uh, the council workers did an amazing job. They were taking instructions from the paramedics uh, and got me into a position where I was able to breathe. Uh, and then uh, the paramedics uh, did an amazing job. They did their job from there. Um, but if it hadn't been for the, for the guys out the front, it uh, may have been a different story. Yeah, what's this experience, Stuart, taught you, I guess, about... Um about the importance of people, uh, you know, calling for help straight away, but also having some level of first aid. Obviously, that was important as well. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think I think the main thing is to remain calm, um, especially with uh, these types of snake bites. Um, the you know the the more anxious you are, or the quicker you move, um, it travels through your system quickly. So try if you do have to move do it slowly and just try to remain calm. What was your message to the council workers when you guys caught up again in much better circumstances? Did you have a good oh, chat no, with I the just, guys? Yeah, I took them, um, I, yeah, so just gave them a hug and, and stuff like that. Same as when I caught up with the paramedic. Um, I actually remember seeing him in the cafe a few days later and uh, I asked him if he knew the paramedics that were there because I didn't get to meet them because I didn't recall it and he actually recognised my face and he said I was the one who bandaged your leg. So I think I, I gave him a hug, my mm. wife gave him a hug. It was all quite emotional. That's wonderful. Oh, thanks for sharing your experience with us, Stuart. And it's really just um, brought home the message that um, there are so many wonderful, amazing people out there who are ready to help yeah, they, when needed. They all, they, all work, they all work very well. They all work seamlessly together. And it's really wonderful to be part of a really uh, fantastic, supportive community up here. Everyone looks out for each other. So I think, you know, all that, all that as well helps. So it's, um, yeah, I'm very lucky.